This is my third video in a three-part series. I'm going to be going over calibrating your camera with the Assistant 2 app on your computer. It's not very hard, but I'm going to show you what you're going to need. If you haven't checked out the other two videos, check the description and there'll be links to both of those as well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Sean Oz. I really need to get a new intro. Something different before we start. We are working on moving this summer. If you've been following for a little while, you already know that. We're not quite sure where. During the process of getting things a little more together, I discovered a whole box of VHS tapes. And I am in the process of converting old video footage. I'm talking, there's so much old stuff from when I first started tattooing uh, to when I had my kid to before I had my kid to even whenever I was in high school. So I'm going to be going through digitizing all those and eventually using bits and pieces of some of this old footage into some of my videos. That being said, let's move forward and get back on track with this video. What you're going to need today is one Mavic Pro, your USB cable, and the DJI Assistant 2 app, which you can get off of DJI.com. If you need help, Downloading the Assistant 2 app, check out part one in this mini series. Once you have that downloaded, you want to go ahead and open it. And you're going to want to plug your Mavic in with a USB cord. You can use the one that came with it, or you can use one you already had. It doesn't really matter. There's a spot on the side of the Mavic here. Plug in your Mavic. Click Allow. Turn on your Mavic. It's going to show up on your Assistant 2 app as a Mavic Pro. So you want to click that. You're going to open that up. Over here on the left hand side you can see there's some different options. Today we're going to go to calibration and it's going to walk you through a tutorial showing you how to hold your Mavic and how you're going to basically point the camera the screen and follow what it tells you to on the screen. Start calibration, hold your Mavic, point it at the screen, get your red box so that it turns into a blue box and goes inside of it. Then you follow the blue squares around as best you can. Turning everything from white to blue. And then you move it further away from the screen to make it larger. And do the same thing again. As far as I'm aware of, you want to try to be as smooth as you can with this. of an optical illusion on your eyes you think they would make that uh, blue square a little easier to see now I want you to do your forward camera so you want to turn your Mavic like so and you're gonna do the same steps at this point you're gonna hear a lot of noise from your gimbal or actually I'm hearing a ton I've never heard that much noise before on my gimbal my original Mavic did not make that much noise you then set it down and let it do its calculations. And that's it. It's it's pretty easy. I'm on the fence on if you should go ahead and do a calibration through the GoFo app on your gimbal after the fact, or if you should just leave it at this. So it takes approximately one minute now. As far as I can tell, the camera is not moving around, so the, it's it's an internal thing that it's calibrating. I'm gonna let it do its thing right now, and then I'm gonna go give it a test flight, and I can pretty much guarantee my horizon is gonna be the same. If you're new here and you're not familiar with my ordeal with my first Mavic, go to this video here and check it out. The whole playlist covers everything from when I got it, what I call the Drunken Horizon, where the horizon isn't just tilted a bit, but I mean, it sways back and forth. It's, it's absolutely unusable video footage. And a lot of people have that issue. Now, I know I say that this one has it, and it does. It does to a lesser extent. But it is usable at slower speeds, and I'm still on the fence if I'm going to contact DJI and return it again. I know tons of people who do have them that work perfectly. So that's what leads me to want one that's perfect. For $1,300, there's that part of me that wants one that's 100% perfect the way that it should work. Then there's the other side that has dealt with DJI support and knows what a pain in the ass it is. If you look at my other videos, the Dear DJI one or Attention DJI, look at the likes to dislike ratio. I am not the only person having an issue like this. 
It is insane. I will be making a new video soon to explain the Drunken Horizon. I know I don't typically just do these little sit-down instructional videos. My channel is more about vlogs and drones intertwining in between them and going out on adventures. And I have some adventures coming soon. Uh, why I'm... Oh, that was fast. It's done already. Restart aircraft. So I'm just going to turn it off. And I'm going to go outside and fly now. See you out there. All right, I'm all set up, and here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, so what I'm noticing is my yaw is pretty much perfect. Anytime I bank left and right, it's still doing its thing. There's almost never a time that when I'm flying and actually filming for a project or doing something with my drone that I just fly up and spin in a circle on a stagnant axis. There is plenty of times that I'll be banking and turning at the same time. There's plenty of times that I'll be banking and turning at the same time, which will create that sway horizon, as I refer to as drunken. And occasionally I'll even be turning and swaying like so, and then switch and go the other direction. I don't know if you can see this in the camera. So if I'm turning and swaying like this, I'll then switch back and go like this. And that creates the horizon sort of going back and forth, which is incredibly hard to fix in post. If I just bank one side and go like that, that's easy to fix. But it's whenever you're banking one way and then turning and sort of going the other way and you're getting that back and forth becomes a royal pain in my ass. Yet it is better than my old one. This video wasn't about mine it was just to show you how to fix yours if you need to calibrate it on the dji assistant assistant to app so that's what this video is for if you made it this far congratulations hidden hidden little 
one on one with me at the end. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I've got a list. Let me show you. Let me show you. What the hell is it? I have a whole book of video ideas and concepts that I'm working on. I just, I have a day job. I just, I can't make just videos every day. I'm trying so hard because I enjoy it so much. They might suck to some of you, but eh, you know, I enjoy it. So if they suck, my apologies. I'm trying and I'm, I feel like I'm improving with each one I do. Please click like, subscribe. It means a lot to me. Later.